you know, when a baby is born and a mom gets that baby, there's not a manual. There really isn't. Right. So, I mean, at least in a way now we have YouTube and we have how-to videos and we have blogs and vlogs and women and men are giving their successful actions, whether it be raising children or business. You know, um, we do have one thing in common, which is uh, admiring and using that amazing little booklet with the 21 precepts oh, yes. for better living called The Way to Happiness. Yeah. And I know, why don't you tell me about your college days and when you found that book and what that was all about? Yeah. So basically, um, at the end of college, I had switched to a larger university and I thought I would like it because there was more options. But um, I actually saw there was quite a decline in society going on at that time. And that was the first time I had seen that because I think in the smaller town, you don't really see mm -hmm. such a big picture. I, I don't know if that makes sense, but. No, I it went, makes total sense. I mean, people use the term, you're in a bubble. Yeah. You know, and, and that becomes apparent sometimes. Yeah, so I was in for a rude awakening when I went to this larger school and it was, it was very strange. I had to take classes, which were literally like one lady not from America and her class was pretty much hating America. And no you had kidding. to, as a protest, you had to pick one of her four topics and you had to go and protest basically like, Standard things like, yeah, anyways, it was really bizarre. Yeah, I was like, I can't believe I, I have to do this to graduate. Like, it has nothing to do with fine art or like creating or anything. Um, so that was one thing that like first hit me and I was like, wow, what what is this? And then um, interesting enough, I signed up for another course, a class, which was volunteering. And there's a little community in Tampa off of Nebraska called Sulphur Springs. So I went and um, you know, you're, you're mentoring these kids, like there's a rec center there, and then you go into like where they live down by the river. And every week you're like picking up trash with them because you'd be surprised people throw shopping carts right in the beautiful river, mm -hmm. like cars, like it's crazy. Like yeah. there's a lot of like crime. Disconnected from the responsibility yeah. for it, yeah. So we're teaching these kids to clean up their environment, but then at the same time, then we would sit like after it's clean and we would draw with them. We would draw the trees. We would draw the grass. Like, beautiful. you know, like we would make a beautiful like piece of art. And then also we'd work with them at the community center. Yeah. You really get touched by these kids. And the things that the kids would tell me, I was like, I also never knew like about so much stuff about like the broken homes, the crime, like the pressures so many, they're under. Yeah. The and, and you're telling them to learn and you're telling them to be this way or that way. Yet reality and what they go home to is so different. I know. I I had those moments as well. Yeah. Of volunteering. Yeah. So it's very like, oh, heart, you know, like you're just like, oh, I would like to change this. Um, so funny enough, right after that happened or at the same time as I was doing that, I found out about these 21 precepts from the way to happiness. And then I was like, oh, my God, this is the solution. This is what you know, this community and actually everyone needs because <laughs> <laughs> anyone can read these precepts and use them. And, well, you um, could see right away, like if, if this were in, this would be gone. If this were in and people just did this on their own, then the shopping carts would not get into the river. Exactly. So I, to I totally understand. Yeah. So I had a really big purpose for that. As soon as I found that and I was like, I really want to use my art because at the time, um, I think there was a project going to paint a mural um, right by a bridge that was right there. And I was like, oh, my God, how cool would it be to do something with the, the way to happiness and paint, you know, like there and get this there. So anyway, that was like what's kind of sparked that. And then from there, like with, with my ultrasound paintings, whenever I send the painting to the new mothers, I send them the way to happiness booklet. Beautiful. Um, and often it's amazing. Like they all call me, they text me, write me, and they're like, oh, my God, I love the booklet. Aww. Yeah. Like I just sent one to a lady in Miami last week and she got it. And she was like, oh, my gosh, I love it. Next time you're down here, you need to look me up so we can meet. Aww. So it's very nice, you know, especially at that time. Like, I think when you do have a baby and, you know, you've got so many changes going on, it's a nice thing to have, like, some good advice. Yeah. It's true. And, you know, no matter what your walk of life, where however you were raised, your income bracket, your religion, your non-religion, the beauty of the way to happiness is that it's for everyone. And those truths of proper behavior will will improve conditions no matter where they're applied. Yeah, exactly. And then so my... I mean, plan, how many things can you say that about, right? Not... <laughs> yeah. You can say it about the Bible, absolutely. Yeah. But, you know, I don't know many books that go like, yeah, but that doesn't apply to blah. You know, the way to happiness applies to everything. Yeah, it applies to everything. And it actually ties in perfectly with the blog that I'm going to do because all the, I feel like all the successful actions, they fall into one of the precepts. True. And then um, also um, on there, I will be using like the different, you know, public service announcements and stuff. So I think it's going to be a really great way to just help people. Yeah. That's wonderful. Thank you.